Okay, I just finished, I had to just put my hair up in a quick bun. I just finished filming that puppy haul and I forgot how like tiring, to take the wig off, oof, it was too hot. <laughs> I forgot how tiring like sit down videos used to be for me. Like, look at my floor right now. I literally showed everything that I could just try and be as helpful as I could. Obviously I have to take the tags off of all of this shit. Oh God, I can't even put it back, I gotta cut everything off. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely am not prepared for the dog right now. Like his playpen is over there, I still haven't put it together. All of his clothes, all of his tags and stuff still have like, they're still in their protective wrappings and stuff because I just wanted to show things the way they were. Um, but I have to take all of that off and get the packaging out of here. I have to vacuum my whole bedroom because I don't want to do it when he's here because the vacuum is so loud. Don't think I'm going to be sleeping tonight because I'm prepping. And also just it feels so exciting um, to one, pick up my dog, but two, even just be in the airport again. Like you guys know how much I love traveling. So to just be getting on a plane and doing all this stuff, I haven't been on a plane in like a year and a half or something. Like I used to be on a plane <laughs> five, six times a year. I'm trying to think about what the next steps are gonna be. And I still have to go to the bank and it's almost nighttime. <laughs> like there's no sun out anymore. I still have to go to the bank and get the rest of the money that I'm gonna be giving to the breeder for him. Uh, I just have a little bit left to give her. It'd been so long, I was just paying for him over time. So <laughs> I'll be like, here's 500, here's 400, you know? yeah it's kind of surreal that tomorrow night he will be here like living with me this is my last night as like just me good morning it is 6 a.m i'm all dressed <laughs> my flight got delayed by about half hour so i was gonna leave at 5 30 but now i have a 9 a.m. flight. I have all this stuff in here. So, this is quite heavy with everything that's in here, but everything that's in here is going to go in my bag. I don't think he needs a leash and stuff, but we'll see. So, yes, I'm going to try and vlog as much as possible today, uh, but it will most likely be week. First week in his life video versus just a pickup video so that there's a little bit more content for you guys. And I head out so I'm not late. Such a simple outfit, like literally a lash outfit. Just pants, a tank, because it's still summer, and then a cover up because the airport is so cold. It actually got delayed. I'm just praying they don't cancel it, to be honest. Um, and my breeder just messaged me and told me that two dogs are in labor. So she's currently delivering puppies right now. And she's been texting so many pictures of puppies as they come out, which is so cool. So I don't know if she's gonna be able to meet me personally, which would have been really nice because we've been talking for over a year. But, um, yeah, so far a couple of chocolate Merle babies, like my baby, and some reds, and some browns, and whites, and parties, and yeah. So happy for her, and for the new moms, all of them are new moms, including my dog's mom, the first time mom, so, very exciting. Secured the package. He's sleeping. He is just the sweetest, kindest, just most perfect thing. Like he, as you can see, that that case is open. That top case, like he doesn't try to jump out. He's not trying to run everywhere. He's friendly with everybody. Maybe too friendly. It, like really freaks me out. I'm like afraid. Somebody could lure him to them and take him or something like I'm very protective already. 
but he is just the nicest, kindest dog. And our flight is here and it's on time. So we're gonna get back to New York on time. Um, I just wanna get him out of this carrier, even though it's, it's way bigger than him, but still like let him just explore the apartment and stuff like that and feed him. Um, he pooped and he peed before we got here, which is so good. We were in the grass for like, maybe like 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't vlog more, but I was just so in awe of him and just like, the way he looks at me, he just looks into my soul. Like, it's just, I had like a little bit of a mommy meltdown in terms of like, oh my God, I have this thing I need to take care of and his life is in my hands and stuff like that. So it was a lot, but I'm good now. <laughs> and I'm just ready to like get him home and start giving them some love. I have this puppy food, I have this toys, this health stuff I have to look through and a lot of mommy stuff to do tonight and I off tomorrow. So he's such a good sleeper and he's so good in his, in this thing that he's not even used to that I think he's gonna be so good in his crate. So I do think I'm gonna wheel the crate into my bedroom for the night because, not because I don't think he can handle it, but because I just want him with me, to be honest. You're probably like, what is that? You're not in your comfort case. I took him out, guys, because I just think he wanted to be with me. Yeah. I know, Papa. I know. So good. Say hi, baby. <laughs> Hello. Angel, baby angel. I have my work cut out for me. Are you peeing? Let me see. Did you pee? Can I see? No. Do you have anything in you? I just want you to pee before I take you home. You need to pee? Take some a minute. That was a long flight. Look at him. He just wants to, he wants, he wants me to hold him all the time. All done? Okay, well your tail's wagging, so that's good. All right, let's go home. You don't need to pee. I'm putting you back in. <laughs> God, you're so cute. We're back home, literally sitting like this because if I don't sit near him, he won't eat. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to break that habit. Yummy. You know it's real when I have my bonnet on. Like, when do you guys ever see me in a bonnet? <sighs> it's currently 2.45 a.m. The first night. He slept really well in his crate for about, I'd say, four hours. His gums were bothering him, so I took him out, gave him his teether ball, which he loves this thing. I'm very happy with that. And he's just hanging out with me, um, chewing that. And I'm on a Reddit, kind of looking up ways to soothe him. Here. Here. It's right here. I didn't eat much yesterday, so tomorrow I think I'm going to try and like implement some different stuff with this kibble. He feels a lot more comfortable since he slept. Because earlier he was just yawning a lot. And it wasn't because he was just tired. Like He was severely stressed and he had anxiety. Um, obviously, he doesn't know who I am. And like we had a very long travel day, so this right now makes me extremely happy that he just feels comfortable to just chill and chew about 3 a.m approaching at this point i'm probably gonna take him up to go pee good boy yes get the back gums get get all of it oh you only he only likes to play and like do things if i am like doing it with like won't eat unless i sit next to him he won't sleep unless i sit next to him like he won't do anything like if i just drop the ball like that he won't keep playing with it you see it's so spoiled it's so cute though doop doop you can see his little baby teeth. He is teething heavily. So I think I might take him to get one more like potty break. Um, 
He's been doing really well with the litter. He peed in the litter twice yesterday. He had a couple of misses with the litter, like where his aim was, was off, but his intention was to pee in the litter box. So I'm counting that as like a low-key win. He's technically been sleeping since about 10, 11. So I, I just wanted to chew and feel a little bit better. And then when we first got home, he was breathing really, really heavy and just like, you know, lots of anxiety really, honestly. He's a sleep fighter, I've realized. Like, he will fight his sleep. Um, he has FOMO, I kid you not. Like, I think, I think he thinks like if he goes to sleep, he's gonna miss out on something. I have a vet appointment for next Friday, but I think I might move it up to this Friday, which was the original appointment date. And I don't know what's going on with the paw licking. Good boy. Okay, I'm getting, ugh. getting some work done. I'm back at work today. I wanted you guys to meet the baby. He is currently teething so bad. It's like a joke. This is my new puppy. This is Lex. His full name is Lexington, but we're gonna call him Lex. But um, he is an F3 mini Merle Phantom Cockapoo. It's a mouthful, but that's what he is. He has these beautiful, gorgeous coloring of gray, brown, tan, white, right? Your Merle, and then very beautiful, like aquamarine blue eyes. So I'll pick like a picture in to sh show you guys of when I picked him up. But um, yeah, he's just, he's perfect. He really is but also perfectly stressful. Like he does not like to eat. Um, I've been stressed out since he got here to be quite honest with the eating thing. Like he's been doing really well with his his litter box training. Like that I'm surprised by because puppies don't usually like litter boxes. Like they're used to their baby pads or whatever. He's done every single poop since he's got home in that box, which has been a great. Peas are hit and miss. He did two this morning in that box and I realized I'm very successful with his peeing. When I put him in, as soon as I take him out of his crate for a nap, he goes straight to the potty so he knows after I get out of this crate, I'm going to the bathroom. Um, and then same thing with um, after we eat. I give him like maybe like 15 to 30 minutes and then we have him go in there and circle around and see if he needs to poop or pee or anything like that. I'm a boy mom. I knew I would always be one <laughs> in some form. Yes, baby. I really do love him, but I'm definitely gonna do a video on just like puppyhood and like a sit down talky video about it because puppy blues is so real. And for some people it really does happen earlier than for others. Like people were talking about puppy blues um, like a month in. Girl, I felt that the night he got here. Like I was so stressed out. He was stressed because he's in a new environment. I can tell he's gonna be an amazing dog though based off of just like some of the attributes that he has in terms of just like how he lets me touch him and like, you know, also how he is when we travel, how we are on the street and how receptive he is to training and things like that. So bigger picture, I think I made a great choice. I'm gonna have a great companion. Puppy stage. Everybody's been asking me if I'm gonna get another one because obviously dogs are such pack animals and they just need a friend in the house. I really, I don't think so. I never say never. Like having a puppy is kind of like having a baby in that way where it's just like, I might, he might be older and be an amazing dog and then I'm like, I want another one because I like forgot about the puppy stage but it's only been 48 hours and it's been kind of rough. Like the waking up, I've been up uh, 3 a.m. 5 a.m. We have a vet appointment tomorrow for his shots. Yeah, he's been out of his crate since 10 I personally feel like he's not sleeping enough So I am for sleeping at this point because if I let him stay up with me all day He will and puppies need to sleep um, They need rest and he does not like to sleep. He just always wants to be with me Another velcro dog if you are thinking about getting a cockapoo velcro dog supreme um, Everywhere I go he goes and if I even get up right now, he'd be like concerned whereas I feel like other dog breeds just don't really care. He's definitely gonna be that dog that needs to go to, yes baby, that needs to go to daycare 
and make friends with other puppies. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to everybody. You gotta get used to this. These are your new people. Hey, Papa, look. Say hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Lex. I'm Lexington. Here. Okay, you're over it. He's sensitized to the max. Like, I can touch him anywhere. His paws, I can open his mouth. He'll let me do it. Go in his ears. And I make sure I do this every day so he gets used to me touching him so that um, when he gets groomed or if I need to cut his nails and things like that, I can do that. I can rub his belly. I can kind of just like throw him about. Like he's really just so chill. That's like a really good thing about him. Another good thing about him is he's so good with traveling, right, booby? Like bags in the um, plane, he was amazing the whole way home. Like, and it was a lot of transportation from LaGuardia back here to Jersey City. So he was great in the plane. Um, yesterday I took him out in his bag, like his Max Bone Toad, and he was so good in that too. The teething is real. That's like another positive to him. He likes me, that's a third positive. Like I, I really didn't want a dog that was afraid of me or didn't want to be here, you know, or he's not easily stressed out, which is great. Um, a fourth thing that's really, I love about him is he he's noise proof. Like. I blended something in front of him. He didn't even flinch. Like he's not phased by sirens. He's not phased by a lot of noise, which is amazing living in a city, you know? So that was really good. I'm like happy with that. For now, those are like my main positives. He's so loving and so sweet to his core. Now I'm at his level look. Can you see him there? He loves Ugg slippers. So bougie. Come, baby. Come. You're tired. Come. Those cords are all sprayed down and he has not touched it. So that apple, bitter apple spray definitely, definitely works. Okay. Now I have to put you in. No. You need to sleep. He's staring at me through the glass or through the... I puppy dog eyes all day long and mommy mommy's still leaving you in there you have to sleep booba you have to love you you're okay I let him cry it out it's 11 30 I'll take him out in an hour and I'm about to make myself a uh, peanut butter smoothie with banana and some almond milk. I have oat milk as well. And then as you guys can see here, I am just trying to get some work done because I am working today and there's a couple of things I have to check up on and some stuff that they have not done that needs to be finished. Um, so, busy day. As you can see, he's not crying anymore. He will go to sleep. This, I realize, is a process and he has to know that when mommy leaves, mommy comes back. It's been hard though because I just love him so much, but a puppy is hard and I don't think I'll do it again. Ugh. I cannot wait for him to be older. And then you know what I'm gonna say to you guys when he's older, I'm gonna say I miss him being a puppy. That's what all moms say. They're like, I miss the puppy stage. I should take him more pictures, which I've been doing in videos. He was so small, he'll never be that small again. It goes so fast. So even though I am stressed a lot with him, I am still trying to enjoy the wins as I said and just the little moments with him being a baby because I won't have that again he'll be big boy and then it's like we're just existing you know what I mean he's, I think he'll still be cuddly but yeah anywho I'm gonna get some work done and I will talk to you guys when he gets up from his nap and we go take our walk the boy he just loves to switch sides so much but I love that today he's leaving a lot more yesterday oh, we're just living home. in the present so.
I try and give him at least 15 to 20 minutes a day. So when we go back home, he's tired. Beauty.